everybody. Different kind of video. I was thinking I'm just putting my diamond dots away. And yeah, I guess I have too many projects on my mind that I want to do. Not enough time, not enough me to go around to do all the things and all the diamond painting I wish I could do. Um, a friend of mine last year passed away. And she was good. Uh, she was a friend. She was a mentor. She was, um, I worked with her at the zoo. I worked with her um, in the contact barn in the zoo. And she worked with, you know, the cows and the sheep and the pigs and the goats and the llamas. And one of my fondest memories of her was learning how to train dogs. She suggested I buy the book, Don't Shoot the Dog. And it's about training techniques and I learned a lot from that book. I learned a lot from her about training dogs and one of the big parts of the zoo when I was there was working with border collies and the border collie kid um, we used to herd the three sheep that we had and I learned a lot training with him and it's kind of where my dog came into play down the road. I ended up getting Australian Shepherd because I really liked the herding breeds and the intelligence and the drive to please and the, just the personality of I'm not going to give you the frisbee because I don't want you to put it away. I enjoy it. So here's my dilemma. Um, I have to look back on it. I'm not sure. This guy came from fan cells maybe. I think he came from fan cells. So I got him. He's cute. You can see his eyes. His cute little mouth. And you know he's not too many colors. He's already kitted. Don't judge me. They're both kitted up. Um. He's already kitted up. I mean, he's a little, you know, typical 30 by 40. He's in my nice little small 28 count container, all ready to go. And he's very cute. And he's flat. And he's been in my binder portfolio thing for a while now. And since I got him, and I've just, you know, clearly I'm keeping one and the other one I'm donating. <laughs> but my dilemma is I don't know. Which one to do? Like, I really like him. He's very cute. And then I have this one. Where I was very surprised. This is the guy I got on Amazon. And he is not the quality that I've gotten from all the other Amazons. I mean, I can show you up close. I mean, can you see his eyeballs? Because I can't see them very well. They're both round. Um... And his symbol clarity, whew, not the greatest. Which, you know, I don't think anybody but me doing the kit is going to know. But there's just, there's spots. Like, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But like, it's way over here. And up here, there's a bunch of spots where it's going to be very difficult. To determine what those are. Um, there's not. Sorry for the crinkle. Um, he's bigger. He's a 40 by 50. There's not a lot of colors. There's 26. So about the same amount of colors. I mean, same kind of color varying as this guy just has a little blue around the background. So I mean, his colors are pretty similar to the other dog. The other border collie, I mean, his colors are pretty close. I mean, it's border collie. It's black and white. And pink and the you know, pretty, what do you call that color? That nice you know, background color. It's a little different than the other background color. Just, I mean, the similarity in the colors is clearly very there. But my dilemma is, if you're donating this, in memory of somebody and then you're going to have a plaque made with her picture and the, um, her name and what she used to do at the zoo. She was a volunteer and she um, also was a church volunteer and she worked there for many years so I want to do this in memory of her because this is my fondest memory and a lot of my friends who I worked with also have fond memories working with her. And working with the border collie and the sheep. 
end. So, the pinions, which one? One minute. It's 40 by 50. Or the 40 by 30. I think he's going to come out better. I like his face. And I like, um, I can see more details in his fur on this one than I think on this one. 